Welcome to BioStock. Today we will talk about CarBiotics reorganization and progress. Welcome CEO Christopher Cook. Thank you, Olivia. Pleasure to be here. How would you summarize 2022? Uh, 2022 was an exciting year. Uh, I think from uh, from the standpoint of developing our, our, our own production site, as well as our development infrastructure, we got two things in place. So our site in, in view, as well as our development lab in Lund, uh, saw very good progress. Uh, and that's going to pay dividends in terms of accelerating the development of different products. Uh, we started to explore uh, P and oat fiber, which is very interesting because those two products are coming from um, uh, food you know, development or food production sources. So we can upcycle the products. And uh, I think thirdly, the, the start of the, the type 2 diabetes study, I think, was a pivotal point because that will serve as a blueprint for you know, future development work, combining carbiaxis with you know, different therapeutic products. So I'm definitely excited about all three. Sounds like an eventful year. And uh, mm. how is it going with the grass approval process? Yeah, the grass, grass aff affirmation process has been both uh, educational and inspirational, most certainly. I think what it, what's happened is that the, our decision to utilize an, another enzyme created a small delay and that enzyme needed to get approvals itself to get the pro uh, product approved. Uh, so that created further delays. Um, but uh, I think that time has allowed us to really you know, reflect upon the product and get expert feedback, uh, which has you know, put us in a position where we're, we're now sort of champion and we're celebrating the unique features of our product in the sense it's a very diverse product, but very efficacious as well. Um, and that's going to allow us to target what we consider more higher end applications like nutraceutical uh, applications that where the product can be used alone, blended, or used with other therapeutics, such as the, uh, the metformin study. Uh, it also you know, forced us to think about, you know, can we do other things at the same time? Can the product use, be used for other things? And therefore, we sort of really started to persevere with um, using the product as a, a, a cosmetic ingredient, which may be even more interesting, to be honest, because it could be used as a preservative as well. Um, so instead of targeting a, you know, a 5 billion <laughs> market, we're targeting a, a, a 1 billion euro market if you combine all the different applications. Uh, growing up between 10 and 60% per year, depending upon the subsegment. So, um, yeah, so that's, so that's sort of where we're standing in that process. So definitely working towards getting this completed uh, as soon as possible, um, but uh, happy that the end product itself uh, is better uh, than, you know, our, our previous product. And the management and board are now being uh, reorganized. Mm -hmm. What are the main changes? Well, I think in, in conjunction with an AGM, you're always reflecting upon the board. And in this case, uh, we had two board members. So our, our chairman, Yunus Donison and Peter Falk, my co-founder. Uh, in Yunus' case, he had an, a, a conflicting operational role, so he couldn't continue. And he's done a fantastic job. Um, and Peter, he had, uh, 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 yeah, in this case, he had other, you know, projects that he was working on. He didn't have the time. And then, uh, he felt that you know the, the company needed to bring in industrial experience, which was relevant to where the company was going, sort of more supplement and pharma focused. But yeah, uh, the consequence of that is, and this is a plan I had all along, obviously, was to step into that role um, because I've been involved in different companies where you know boards have not been entirely functional, and you know I want to bring in the people that are going to help the company grow. So I'll step down as CEO, and Eric will step in, and Eric is fully competent to take that position. He's uh, ten years my junior, but he's he's. Uh, Definitely full of energy. Um, he's you know, intelligent. He's a people person. He gets things done, and uh, he's very cost focused as well, which is a good quality to have. Uh, so I'll be supporting him. I'll be working with business development, and this is a, an area that I've, you know, championed in previous companies. And I have eight years of industry knowledge now in this this case, so I can focus on business development and sales. So overall, yeah, strengthening the management team's focus on sales and business development and bringing in key competencies uh, into the board. So I think this is a this is definitely a, a positive thing. So what are your goals for 2023? Yeah, a lot of goals, actually. Uh, obviously, completion of the, the grass self-affirmation for the maize, the corn uh, brand, and getting the whole you know production of samples and, and scaling up production with our partner in the US. Uh, getting things going there is important. Uh, upgrading our facility in Buv, uh, you know, that facility can be used to produce, you know, cosmetics, uh, which is a very interesting application. Uh, you have, you know, bacteria on your skin, so it's equally interesting. 
and our product can act as a preservative as well. Um, and obviously, we want to produce samples for nutraceutical applications globally. Uh, further pushing into looking at pea and oat fiber and upcycling opportunities for different substrates is, is key. Uh, completion of the, the metformin carbon access study uh, is fundamental as well because that will serve as a blueprint and we'll be applying for further financing to uh, do uh, uh, additional studies with perhaps you know several hundred patients. Um, and then, yeah, link at itself as a service. I think it's a, it's we've seen we've not only seen significant development on the carbi access product because of the feedback we've received, incredible development actually in the past six months, um, but we've also uh, definitely seen a lot of development in terms of our link at service because we vertically integrated uh, all the IT components there uh, in house so we could develop very quickly. Uh, so we're. Definitely number one in the world with regards to cost, and we're very flexible, a very reliable service. And now we're starting to see the dividends of that uh, through growth and number of partners and interest as well. So overall, yeah, uh, very optimistic this year. And we're definitely seeing, obviously there are, there are headwinds from a macroeconomic perspective, which I think will be in play for probably the next two years. Um, but we're definitely well positioned uh, to uh, you know, slingshot the company as we come out of that and enter maybe a, a 10 year bull market. I think the microbiome space itself is going through a unique development. Those companies that are targeting sort of more sort of high-end therapeutics that have to bring in a lot of money to carry out, you know, phase three clinical studies, they're going to have a, I think, a challenge. And there have been some casualties of uh, the economic client uh, climate. Uh, but I think, generally speaking, our strategy is is definitely one that's interesting. Uh, uh, there are companies uh, that are similar to us. A company called My Microba recently uh, uh, carried out a transaction valuing the company at about 100 million euros. Uh, and they're focused on you know therapeutics and some diagnostic testing, uh, although they don't have priority prebiotics and they don't have the cost-effective testing. But that, that sort of creates confidence for me that once we start making progress and delivering uh, on these core goals that the company will, will be re-rated and is well-positioned going forward as well as sort of this very focused microbiome company uh, developing prebiotics that can be used in conjunction with these other therapeutic products to increase uh, efficacy. And that's, I think it's quite unique. Uh, we have a unique portfolio and the vertical integration of the diagnostic with the therapeutic is unique as well. So I think we'll do quite well. It will be interesting to follow karyotics uh, development. And uh, thank you for watching this interview. And thank you, Christopher, for joining us in the studio. Thank you, Olivia.